what is going on guys it is your host and pilot fly stewie today with all of the mmr oh, sorry all of them are of all the prices in the store going down in the axi marketplace you're probably wondering how on earth do we take advantage of this and build those 3k mmr teams those top 100 mmr teams so today i'm going to go over that and show you how i built a very competitive team with relatively cheaper axes if you like this video and you want more make sure you hit that subscribe button and like and comment because that is how i know what you want so guys i run a scholarship right now we're around 10 scholars pretty crazy at the end of this video i'm gonna actually announce my 11th scholar and sometimes when you're playing doing scholarships you're gonna have breeds that go a little how you don't expect them to now normally this is a terrible thing you're like oh my god i need to throw out my whole team it's all so bad oh my gosh but when you really think about it sometimes you're like hmm there might be a way to actually make these guys effective so with that being said i'm gonna show you off my team the guy in the back we have a double talk beast with ronin we have some bug damage of course here and rice in the back to get the steal so this discards this steals you put them in the back by the time they get to him they're gonna be at a place where they can't really do as much damage that's the thought at least then we have the midline we need some health we need some speed so we have croc to control the speed we have uh what is this goda to control the energy may destroy the energy and then dull grip blast through you know midliners so they can't do damage and then of course this is just a high damage bird card gets rid of those last stand opportunities and of course the plant there's a lot of very meta plants and i'm really interested on this plant to see how it does now this is my only zero cost of this lineup here so we think getting energy so that these guys are good because this guy's four straight damage cards is very important so this might be the best plant here but i'm still experimenting with this but i think this is going to be the team that goes to our 11th scholar now with that being said let's get in the match let's get our battle music ready and let's get this game going so guys we do this live of course on twitch every stewie saturday and if we win we win if we lose we lose so that's what makes these games so exciting because just like that i don't sugarcoat it for the flight crew so we start off a very interesting position here um normally i don't like to leave a vegetable energy for him to steal that puts me always in a weird position he has this cute bunny here so he might want a cute bunny me but because we're in such an interesting position here i kind of want to bait out i think we actually allow him maybe to steal that energy it sounds crazy i know actually no we don't Let, let's not be let's not be crazy let's go for maximum damage first he can yam me all he wants, that's fine. Now the reason, normally you want to um, leave the double talk at the end. The reason I didn't is because I want to bait him out into maybe Ding up a little bit more than he should here. Actually, no, nah, let's not do that yet. Let's actually just D up ourselves. Um, he used one vegetable. He has Bumpy here. Oh wow, this guy tried to get rid of me. Oh my god, this guy's a monster. I have a family, he's trying to get rid of me. Oliver says, let's go. Kohari says he got bumpy. Oh yeah, man, that guy. Okay, so now he's energy out of his mind. Oh, this is actually a pretty tough lineup. Ooh, interesting. So let's do something like this, guys. I think we want to I think we just want to make ensure we get the kill here So notice how he used both of those cards Yeah, we just ensure we get the kill who cares if he yams me 
we have the matchup we want near the end game and then So big damage, Grandma's fan. So don't get, I don't nearly get the uh, effect I wanted here. And maybe that's a fault here because. Now I'm in a place where maybe I don't necessarily want to be. Because he's able to get a lot of damage off here, Muff. And that's why I should have probably used Crocs last turn. But you live and learn when you're playing with these new builds, you haven't used much. Uh, by the way, guys, we have Kaoki in the building, Coldheart in the building, Eighth in the building. We're going to try to pull this off. Uh, this team is going to the 11th Scholar team. So, interestingly enough, he probably ran out of cards. And that's why having this discard card here is so powerful because you just don't know what cards it gets rid of and now he had four cards last turn he used one um he's in a predicament that i wouldn't want to be in guys i'm gonna let you guys know that so he slowed down this guy's a 47 speed so we probably want to get rid of him quickly and let's use the discard here Oh man, this is this is actually really scary stuff, guys. Um, we could lose this one. So I use my most defense I have here. He put up a lot of defense there, guys. Oh my god. And then lucky for us, we got the slowdown that we wanted. Still no double talk or anything. Oh, I'm faster. Hmm. We don't have what we want here, though, guys. Okay, I don't think we can win this one, unfortunately. We can try something like this. Maybe it works out for us. Ooh, we were so close. We were so close, guys. Oh, we win. No way. The last stand. Let's send this guy to the Shadow Realm. Oh, let's go. Double talk. Rice. Get this guy out of here. Get this guy out of my lobby. We win by one HP. Oh, oh wait, we lost? We lost? Come on. I, I counted this win. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> oh, I counted this win. It's still a win. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> so, that, guys, that's the first game. Um, hey, you know? Anticlimactic to the buzzer. It happens. No, normally I do two games on stream. I do two games on stream, you know. Uh, and I leave it up. If I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. But you can see why that team's so strong because they have the energy steals, they have the damage, they have the double talk, and there's a lot of versatility, and you can control the speed of it. So, very powerful team there. We're gonna go one more. Okay, so what do we call this video? When you celebrate a bit too early. Yeah, guys. Oh, they don't want me to post it. Guys, they're trying to they're trying to stop us from winning here. And but of course. And there it is. All right, guys, we got one more game and then we're giving this out. And we do have a special announcement. We do have a special announcement coming up as well, guys. So definitely super excited about that. Let's see here. 
All right, so now we got a we got an interesting team we're fighting against the double aqua team, the most common build in the game, guys. You definitely want to be able to beat a double aqua team, but um, sometimes they're just tough, and that's why so much people run them. They can do so many good things in the game. So right away, I think we want to go for the discard early. Um, the double aqua, as you know, they need a lot, a lot, a lot. So smartly, he doesn't leave any of his energy. He goes straight for damage. The double aqua team needs a lot, a lot, a lot of cards to actually do some damage on your, on your plants. So because of that, We can do a lot of damage of our own here. We get the lucky crit. <clears throat> and now we want to bait out either vegetable or something. He has prickling trap, so I'm actually pretty scared of that card. At 94, he's definitely gonna have a be a lot more chances. Now, typically they wanna save prickling trap for the aqua. I think we just want to play it cool here. He goes for the carrot hammer. We're not going to let him get that energy off though. And we just play it cool. And that way. Now we're going to put a lot of pressure on their energy here, guys. So he has four energy. So realistically, if he has enough cards here, he can take me out. Gets the crit as a like nothing is more annoying guys. I'm sorry. Nothing is more annoying. Oh God. I played that completely wrong guys. <laughs> I played it completely wrong. Nothing is more annoying. And not much we can do here guys. I think that's the ball game. Um, we are still going to go out, have a fight here because you never know what could happen. I do have a bit more health than this guy, but Oh, he gives me the free hit Oof So we're just gonna use our highest shield cards here Can it be enough shield though? That's the million dollar question. The double tail whip. Doing 30 damage with the double tail whip. Very dirty. And not much we can do. So we win one, we lose two, another. It happens to the best of us. The most we can do is try to, if he skips here, maybe we can surprise him, steal some energy. Discard a card or two. He has nine cards in his hand. But just like that, the beast is gone. So definitely some pitfalls, but you can see here, the great thing about this build is I had a chance to win, you know, and that's all you want in builds. Now, remember, when you're switching through teams, you're going to lose a bit more than, you know, if you just play the whole team the whole day, because then you learn all about outplays. But realistically, we had a chance to win. We did make a couple mistakes there. A couple misplays, but that's on us. But anyways, this is gonna go to our 11th scholar. I don't even know what's how much scholars we're at now. We're just giving them away. Um, as you know, it's my birthday, so you know I like to celebrate my birthday by you know uh, <laughs> celebrating my birthday. You know by giving out cheer, giving out scholarships, and I think this person definitely deserves it. So with a build like this, I definitely like to you know see someone with you know that shows a lot of uh, axie knowledge. Coldheart said clamshell is kind of good with that 110 and 40 shield. I'm telling you, any card that adds up to 150 is a top tier card. That is for sure. Um, but this build definitely goes to going to a scholar that has been here for a while, guys. Um, I like to give, you know, my scholarships to a mix of people who are newer and who have been here for a while. That way uh, we have a good mix. You know, everyone kind of gets their shot. And guys, we've been through this before, but it's really as simple as going to the discord signing up we have 272 amazing members 
And once you sign up there, you just apply. You, you go to read first. And this goes for any Discord, not just our own. But you find a scholarship section, you go to read first, you just follow the instructions. Super simple. A lot of you have already a book application, you just apply to these sections, and it's that simple. And of course, I have a How to Become Scholarship a page, Twitch and Discord, people who are most active get the priority most of the times. Without further ado, though, as you know, I like to stall a bit. <laughs> I really do. I do like to stall. I can't I can't lie. I think it makes it more exciting, right? When you announce it, you stall it, you get the drum roll, you get the blood pumping, the adrenaline. But uh, this person has been in the community for a while. And guys, whenever I go to ask about should I add this person to as a scholar, I ask someone within the community, hey, what do you think about this person? And that is really what helps me get them through. Guys, congratulations for Zeku Chu for becoming our last scholar, our 11th scholar. Zek Chu, of course, you know, gonna join Team Alpha. Of course, my team here. Let's add him up. Flight Crew Legends, gonna join Team Alpha. Super excited, super excited for his start. And he is going to be there. Um, this is going to be a pretty tough team to win with. But I think, honestly, it can do a pretty good job as long as you are able to make them work. Like, they can really do damage. Like, I'm really excited about this team. And honestly, I had a lot of fun playing with them. They're just a fun team to play. A lot of outplay potential here. Um, so I'm super excited. So this scholar will probably start next week. I want to think about the plant I want to give him with it. If this is the plant or maybe another one, or maybe I want to breed more plants. I'm really thinking about how to make the scholarship as productive as possible. So set you remember to go through and of course do the scholarship agreement. But a lot of people said Zekshu was that guy within the community. So he's going to join Team Alpha with three inches in Nomar. Um, and guys, we have one more special announcement. I'll say it off this YouTube channel. If you want to know what it is, make sure to join that Discord. But YouTube, if you like videos like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because we do this all the time. And we got to take off. We will see you, YouTube, next time. Peace!